We've had a look at a fair few bits from Jag in the past and I think it's fair to say that anything they've ever produced has absolutely screamed quality. Today we're here to have a look, look at the Pro Light range. Here with Jason Hayward, going to tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, certainly Joe. Well, it all came about from the, the stainless range. We, we'd done what we felt was an absolute top of the range, uh, range, full range of stainless. And although it's all machined and it's beautiful and probably can't buy anything better, because it was made of stainless, it was heavier. Now we wanted to, we felt there was a gap in the market for a lightweight range, but also something that was very, very robust. Um, most of the lightweight range that have been previously done um, has fallen down on quality. To be fair, I mean, I've you know used carbon bank seats quite a bit over fair. Yeah, over exactly. The last they're few very years. good. I they're have very light. once a year, you know. Yeah, they it just purely by nature of the materials that are used. So what we've done at Jag, we've come up with um, what we've called the Pro Light range. It's a full range of bank sticks, um, stabilizers, buzz bars, the full Monty. It's made from a very very high grade aluminium. Um, that's a fixed stick you got there which doesn't actually move, which a lot of people don't want the adjustability of it. Um, on the adjustable bank sticks, it's um, got a carbon inner, which obviously that doesn't need any strength. We've of course got the, uh, the no loss thumb screw. Nice shape as well, different shape there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, just to get the purchase real, so it's a real good grip on it. I've got a stainless steel point there. The main feature of it is the hard anodising what we've had put on this. Now, there is a difference between just anodising and hard anodising. We didn't want to make something that was very, very light and within a few days just scratches off. So this, this is the real top of the range Rolls-Royce product that will you know, really stand up to some, to some wear. When, when we made the Pro-Light range, we didn't want something that just looked very pretty and was very light but didn't stand up to the job. It was, it had to be, it, it's been made to take some abuse and been made very, very strong. It, the, the whole range is very, very light, even down to the, the snag ears for the nevels. I mean, that weighs eight grams. On the buzz bars, it's all been machined from one block of aluminium. Really? It starts off like that. And basically that block goes into a four axis CNC milling machine. And there's sort of halfway through. This is like proper high tech, isn't yeah, it? This hasn't really been done when in the you industry When you buy, no, no, no. When you buy most buzzer bars, it's a bar and you've got bits bolted on and with Allen keys and all that sort of thing. This isn't, this is all, that is all one piece. Apart from the studs, which unscrew anyway, this is all one piece. Not only is it very, very light, but it's, you know, it's incredibly strong. I don't, I'm, I don't actually know how you would break that in normal fishing circumstances. So yeah, it starts off like that, goes through like that, and that's basically the end result of it. I've got to try and have a little bend, and I? Yeah, of course, <laughs> go ahead, mate. We, you know, we're not... There's no movement there at all. There's is, no, yeah, no, exactly. Oh, there's even the slightest little bit of flex. This is, you know, aluminium. It's very, very thin, and you know, of course it weighs nothing. It's a, it's a real feat of engineering for a, a fishing tackle product. It's, you know, there's nothing better out there. You know, a lot of people, when they buy buzz bars, they want snag bars, they want single sticks. Some people like just having it fixed in the middle. So what we've done is we've, we've made the parts so they're all interchangeable. Like on the two rod one, that comes out. That will come out, there's an Allen key, and you can buy two little studs that will actually fit into the, into the ends here. Nice. So if you did find yourself in a situation where you wanted to, you know, fishing up against snags or weed or whatever, where you wanted to actually fish a snag bar, you wouldn't have to buy another set. Just so you, you buy one, spot, yeah, exactly. Um, the accessories, this is like what I've unscrewed here. These, a lot of people have got different indicators. So we've made them with, um, like this one's got a 2BA thread, which just screws it's in there. It's a pretty much standard one, isn't it? Exactly, you know? and also with the, you know, the very popular indicators that got the little magnetised <laughs> just to slip in there. That's what I love about Jag, there's always attention to details. There's always been a problem when you've screwed your buzzers on, trying to get them, you know, trying to get them to line up properly and you bust them and you, you know, twisted them and it's never quite right. So even to the point of, we've got these little washers. Now every one of these washers will adjust, adjust the rotation of the thread to, to one quarter of a turn. Nice. So all you need to do is, is just put a few on to however it is and just, and then that's locked up perfect. There's no movement there. 
And the other thing to mention is the actual, you know, the actual look of them. The colour is very different, but very cool looking, isn't it? It's dulled down. It's it's a non-reflective finished. Really, these are aimed at people who want to move a lot. And generally, if you want to move a lot, you're moving onto fish. There's no point creeping up on a load of fish and then trying to get a, you know some <laughs> nice shiny bank sticks in there. So this this coating is the natural colour for the hardest we could get it. So you know it really will. It's a non-scratch. You know th there will be. Um, there will always be some wear on a coating, but this is as hard as you can get. It's a hard anodising, it's not just anodising. Well, it seems like there's quite a few different buzz bars here. What's the difference between them, mate? Well, a lot of people are fussy nowadays. <laughs> um, we've, we've, done, we've made the whole range of buzz bars just to keep everyone happy, really. Um, throughout the range, it's been made to suit everyone who've got different reels. So if you've got Shimano's, we've got buzzer bars that fit the Shimano reels. Uh, the diwas. Because well, they've got longer handles? Or... Yeah, exactly. And people, you know, the, the fashion days have everything very neat and very close together. And we've also um, made a buzz bar for the people who use the tournaments and fold their handles up as well. So they can have them as you know, snug as possible. And we've also, with, with the buzz bars, we've also made the, the people who do like the permanent snag bar fixtures. You can use these on the snag bars, but also on the indicator adapters will also fit on there as well. So you don't need the hockey sticks. So if you do use just snag bars, you can use the, the indicator adapters on there. They do look really smart. I mean, you, yeah, if you had the buzz bars, you'd have the adapters, wouldn't you? Of course, yeah, <laughs> it keeps it all very neat. Of course, we do the stabilizers as well. It's got a stainless steel prong. It's made the same, no loss thumb screw. Locks up very, very tightly for people who like the single sticks. Here's another one that I like to use quite a bit, the old uh, stage stands. Yeah, the stage bites, uh, I mean, the uh, stainless steel ones we did, were really, really popular. Um, and we couldn't really do this range without doing this again. So again, this is as, exactly the same as the, the stainless steel, but it's you know just much, much lighter, much hard wearing. And if you know if you buy these, you don't need to buy bank sticks either. If you like having your rods low, that sort of is good enough on a platform, so to speak. No screwdriver required. There's a it all comes with it. So you know that goes in there and you just screw it in like that. So no, you don't need to take a screwdriver with you. In I'll be honest with you, I use these quite a lot, you know, if there's a bit of wood there, I'll, I'll use them. Oh, they're know, lovely. Because you've just got a solid setup. They do, they? they've got the teeth on the bottom the same as the uh, stainless steel, and when that bites in, there's just no movement at all. Well, as usual, mate, I'm pretty blown away, to be honest with you. The old Jag never fails to impress, especially where attention to detail is concerned, and uh, I think I may be upgrading my sticks and buzz bars. Yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant stuff, mate. It's all, we've really, really thought about it. We, we haven't skimped on, on anything whatsoever. And it's all been designed and made in the UK as well. So you're buying a British product. And uh, just one other point that obviously people will like, it's cheaper than our stainless range as really? well. It's cheaper, yeah. So because, uh, you know, the materials used and all that, but there's no less thought or anything else got into it. Awesome. Cheers, Joe.